We're going to do another example of solving equations using inverse operations. And we do this example separately because it involves fractions and we know how much everybody loves to deal with fractions. So let's remind ourselves about something about division of fractions. So let's just have a look. If I asked you to do 12 divided by 2 over 3, hopefully you remember how to do this, right? Division of fractions is a bit funny. What you do is you keep the first number the same and then you change division to a multiplication and you flip the fraction. So it's 12 multiplied by 3 over 2 and when you work that out you get 18 as the answer. So another example, 8 divided by 4 over 5. Again, you keep the first number the same, you change division to a multiplication and you flip the fraction and so you get your answer here of 10. The important thing I want you to note is that dividing by 2 over 3 is the same as multiplying by 3 over 2. Dividing by 4 over 5 is the same as multiplying by 5 over 4. So dividing by a over b is the same as multiplying by b over a. Why is this important to me? Well, the kind of equation I want you to be able to solve now is one like this, where we've got 2 over 3x equals 6. What does that mean we have, right? If we've got 2 over 3x, well, when we don't put any sign in, it means multiply, right? 2 thirds multiplied by x gives me 6 as the answer. So that's what my equation is meaning. So obviously to undo the equation, I need to do the inverse of multiply, which is to divide by 2 over 3. But I want you to note what we've just discussed here. Dividing by 2 over 3 is just the same as multiplying by the flip of 2 over 3. So it's the same as multiplying by 3 over 2. So when we're faced with something, solving an equation like 2 over 3x is equal to 6, the way we get back to just a plain x is to multiply by 3 over 2. And when we multiply by 3 over 2, right, we're going to get back to x. Let's just confirm that. The 3s cancel with each other, the 2s cancel with each other, and so we get 1x, and of course we know 1x is just x. And then if we have to do 6 times 3 over 2, 6 cancels with a 2, leaving us with 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So the answer to this equation is x is 9. Let's do one more example. If we've got 3 quarters of x is equal to 15, and we want to solve for x, we now know that what we need to do to get x on its own is multiply by 4 over 3. And that will give us 1x, which is just x on the left, and then 15 multiplied by 4 over 3. Well, again, we can cancel the 3 with a 15 and get 5, and then 5 times 4 gives us 20.